right, so thank you so much for coming in and uh, sitting down with me today. So this is uh, sort of the fun part. You have already been approved for the financing for your new pool. So today what we will do is just take a quick look through our catalog here and we'll take a look at a few different designs, different shapes and sizes, and different colors for your pool. Hopefully you'll be able to make a selection today, okay? Alright, so let me just get to the right spot here. This is our catalog for 2020. So, have you ever uh, browsed for uh, pools before? Okay. So there's different shapes of pool and you do have a large enough space in your backyard that you I'm pretty sure you'd be able to choose from any of these shapes. So we'll take a look through. We'll be starting with rectangle shaped poles. You can imagine that's just a rectangle. Traditional free form. Modern free form. Kidney shaped pools. We also can take a look at spas, tanning ledges, finishes, and the perimeter and inlaid tiles. Okay. Alright, so let's look at this page here. So we do have a large selection of rectangle shaped pools. I believe that's our most popular. Okay, so our first pool here is called the Astoria. And under each name you'll see the the, the dimensions length and width of each pool. So our Astoria, you get the bird's eye view here. You can see the rectangle shape. And over off to the side here, you can see there is a three-foot spa as well, built right into the pool. We've got our stairs on the corner here. We've got our little ledge here with some stairs. And you'll also notice the depth. 
it goes from three foot six inches and at the deepest end it's seven feet deep and then you can see the side view here we can see how the slope goes down okay next we have the Barcelona and this one is 16 feet by 38 feet and at the deepest end 7 feet deep and this one does not include a spa but it has this nice little ledge here you can see the stairs going down and the rest is open this one here is the Chesapeake this is a little unique this one only goes to a depth of 5 feet and you can see that the deepest part of the pool is in the center here and we do have some pictures over here of the of a few of these options okay and here we have the Claremont and this one you can see the stairs here at one end there's a little ledge and just has a deepest end here of 5 feet and 4 inches next we have the clear water and this one goes from a depth of 3 feet 5 inches to the deepest depth here of 5 feet so you will want to consider with all of these pools if you'll be more lounging and relaxing or if you'll be doing some diving if you're going to be adding maybe a diving board or other add-ons okay. and down here we have the Corinthian 12 and the deepest end here goes to a depth of 5 feet and 5 inches so you can see it has this nice little lounging area here in this shallow part of the pool and we've got some steps going down and it gradually gets deeper towards the deep end of the pool so if you'd like to get a more realistic look this one right here is our Barcelona and you can see the shape of the steps here so it's also a nice little platform and it's a nice nice rectangle shape pretty simple design and then here is our Chesapeake that is right here and it also tells you the colors here that we used for the lining of the pool so that also um, is something you'll want to take note of and we'll select that as well, okay? But this one's nice, you can see the symmetric shape of the pool okay and down here this is our Claremont that was this design here with the, the steps that go all the way across the width of the pool and then just a gradual slope down to the deep end okay. now on the next page we do have some more rectangle shaped pools Up here is our Corinthian 14 
and you'll see it has a little bit longer platform here before we reach the steps and then down to the deep end which is six feet deep and here this is a larger sized pool um, I think we can fit this one in your yard this is um, 40 feet long and it goes to a depth of 7 feet at the deep end here this is our Del Rey and you can see it just has the stairs on a diagonal in the corner of the shallow end and in the corner here and it is all one depth all the way across the pool and it's four foot six inches deep right here we have the empress and this goes to a depth of five feet and six inches down towards one end of the pool we have a couple sets of stairs here and this one is a curved design and this one as well next we have the fortitude and this goes to a depth of six feet and you can see this has a little ledge along one side of the pool with stairs in the corner okay. and lastly on this page we have the Helios and this pool goes to a depth of 5 feet and 4 inches we can see the stairs here in the corner So on this page you can see a actual you can see an actual picture here of our Del Rey. This was the pool that is one depth all the way across. This is nice for relaxing. This is our Empress right here with the curved design of the stairs if you can see it here it adds a nice little touch in the corner and here is our Helios they've added a nice ladder here and even more rectangular shaped pools here one here is called Kingston and this goes to a depth of 5 feet and 10 inches very simple design stairs straight across and a gradual slope down to the deep end over here we have the lake shore and this one is a similar design to the Kingston and it goes to a depth of 5 feet and 5 inches here is the Majesty which goes to a depth of 6 feet and you can see again here the curved design of the stairs in each corner moving down here to the Milan this one is a smaller pool and it only goes to a depth of 4 feet all the way across moving down here this is the Monaco and this 
this one is a little deeper. It goes to a depth of 8 feet. And you can see we have these stairs. And there's a steep slope here going down to the deep end. And down here, this is the Montego. And this pole goes to a depth of 5 feet and 7 inches. And again, we see a similar design with the rounded edges here. And again, this pool has the deepest part right in the center of the pool. Here is a image of our majesty. That was this one with the nice curved stairs at each corner. And our Milan. This was the small pool that is only four feet deep. And the lake shore. That's this one here. Nice simple design. And this is our Monaco. That's this large pool here. You can see it, um, if you can see the, the difference in the color of the water here, you can see the steep um, slope there going down into the deep end. So this is nice for diving. And right here is our Montego, the bottom one here. And we see that design around the sides of the pool. And I believe this is our last page of a rectangle. So this is our Ocean Breeze. And this one goes to a depth of 5 foot and 8 inches with the stairs reaching all the way across one side of the pool. Here is our Olympia and this goes to a depth of 6 feet and 6 inches. Again with the nice curved design for the stairs in each corner. So you'll notice that some of these pools have similar designs and the difference would be the size. The size of the pool. Over here we have Sirius and this one goes to a depth of 5 foot and 6 inches. It is 24 feet in length. And we see the stairs in the corner on one side. And right here is our St. Thomas. This is similar to the pool on the previous page. The Monaco. Let's see. Okay, so the Monaco is larger. This is a smaller, smaller style. And it goes to a depth of seven feet at the deepest end here. And this one is a little unique. This is the Stargaze 14. This goes to a depth of 6 feet at the deepest end here. And this is a nice pretty design here. A little ledge in the shallow end with some stairs on either side. So we can see over here. So 
you can see how it adds this nice elegant touch here with the sort of scalloped or curved design of the steps. This is our Olympia. This one here is the Sirius. And in this picture they've added a Meridian Spa here. And over here is the St. Thomas. And you can see the straight stairs right in the corner. So, before moving on to the next shape of pool, were there any that caught your eye in the rectangle category? space where you could go with the larger option. So you like the Olympia. And you like the Stargaze 14. Okay. You can always come back and change your mind. Okay, so now before we move on to the next style here, the traditional free form, is there any questions that you have for me? Uh, yes, I have thought of a few different designs as possibilities for your yard and the placement of your pool. Would you like me to just uh, go over that quickly with you? Okay. So I can, let's see, I can draw this here. Right on this board. Alright, so let me see. You have a very nice um, property, so I will just do sort of a rough um, picture here. Alright, so imagine this here is your house, okay? And you have this nice area here where you have a patio and a deck. And then, so it, this is sort of like a bird's eye view of the property. And then you have the large sized driveway area here. Sorry if this is a little messy. And then you have all of the grass on the nice lawn there. And this, um, you have sort of a hill coming down this way, right? And then you have this large area where I was imagining the pool would, would go, right? Okay. So what I was thinking is that we could have, let's see. I was thinking we could construct a gate or a fencing around the pool. 
and we'll make this area a completely separate spot for the pool. So this would be the fence here, a nice, a nice, uh, black fence I was imagining, but we can always change that. And again, you really don't even need a fence if you prefer not to have one. And so what I was thinking is we would have the gate come around this way and there would be a little entryway here to the pool area. And then we would have a nice um, area surrounding the pool here with um, pavers and you could have enough space for tables and lounge chairs and things like that. Alright, that would go around here, all the way around. Okay. And, of course, let's see, here would be the pool. Whatever size and shape you'd like to put in there, we'll just do a, we'll just do a rectangle. So this would be the pool. I don't know the dimensions. Of course it would be more symmetrical. And then over on this side here you still have space. So we could build a nice um, pool house and dressing room, changing room area here. Okay. You have enough space for that. And more patio area here. Plants. Decorative items would be really nice. And of course the fence on this side. And then you have beautiful land around here with all trees. So that was my idea, and um, you still have plenty of lawn area, so I thought it would be nice to have, some people like to have the fence and some don't. You have a large enough property where I sort of felt like blocking off the pool area, separating the two different um, areas here, sort of makes the property seem even larger in my opinion, because it's sort of like you have almost two different backyards almost. But if you prefer not to have the fence, that is perfectly fine, it will still be beautiful. Okay. So you can see, really, you could have, really, you have a lot of space to work with here, and you could do different shapes of the pool. Okay. Alright, so should we continue looking at the catalog? Okay, I'm just going to erase this here. So, what do you think of I think that will be very nice. You have, you are lucky to have a lot of freedom with your design here because you have so much space. So that makes it a little more fun. You can really and it does make it a little harder because you have so many options. But you can really, really make this a nice uh, space for entertaining. And it's nice to have a professional 
to assist with the design, I believe so. That's why we're here. six feet and six inches. Okay, so you see the stair area here and the unique design. And we do have photos here of many of the different styles, okay? This is the Cambridge and this is a little deeper. This goes to a depth of seven foot. And here we have the Cape Cod. This is a six foot deep pool. They all have their own little styles and you can see here these are similar. They're pretty much the exact same shape here. The only difference being the size of the pool. This one goes to a depth of six feet, and the actual length and width of the pool are different. This is the Coronado. This has a depth of six foot and six inches. And here we have the Freeport, and this is 5 foot 5 inches. And this is a very large sized pool here. This is the Gulf Coast. And this has a depth of 8 feet at the deepest end here. So here is a picture of our Bay Isle, the first pool here. And here we have the Cambridge. This was the large sized pool. Here is the Cape Cod. This is a little smaller version of the Cambridge. It's very beautiful though. And here we have the Coronado. It's a very beautiful pool. And here we have the Gulf Coast. This was the pool with the depth of eight feet. is in ocean blue, the liner. Isn't that beautiful? This here is the Java. And this pole is five foot six inches at the deepest end. And here we have the Key West. The deepest end is six feet deep. And here we have the Rockport. Goes 
close to a depth of 5 foot and 11 inches And finally here, the Vista Isle And that one goes to a depth of 6 feet And here we have the images. We've just looked at this one. This one here is the Java. That's the second one here. And the Vista Isle. That's this one here. It's a little smaller sized pool. This is the Caribbean, and they have added a nice spa here on the side. It's very, very beautiful. And some more modern freeform. Deluxe. 
here is the Malibu, and all of these, well, many of these have the added spa area. Here is the spa on the Malibu, and here we have the Nebula. So, this is the Sunset Bay. And here is the Synergy. A lot of swimming areas. Some pictures. The Laguna Deluxe, first pool, with the spa area here. It's nice, right? Oh, this is the Nebula. That's the third one here. Okay, and finally, this is the Synergy, larger sized pool. Like I said, a lot of area for swimming. of these ledges here. These are tanning ledges. It's another thing to think about. But I think the next best thing to take a look at are the different finishes for the bowl. So you probably will want to take a look back because I'm sure you had noted that all of the images here, you'll be able to come back and take a look at the different um, shades, finishes. They are all included here in all of the images, okay? There is a nice selection. There's Sapphire blue, we have the ocean blue, the shale gray, this is 
the coastal bronze night sky and here we have whisper white and pearl white so you'll also want to think about lighting around the edges of the pool around the perimeter of the pool because that will have an effect okay. and finally here you can take a look at some of the tiles for around the perimeter rainforest in lavender blue and turquoise night life multicolored or silver and black we have a beautiful gemstone in silver or blue here is oak emerald this here is key west truman Duval Mrs. Martinique Ocean Blue or Royal Blue and this is Titanium in Silver and Blue Saison glass Montagne Okay So I think we looked at a lot of different things today So we can take a look at these other features at another time you'd like to just take a look and narrow down some of your options with the shape of the pole. 